Hello there, people, and welcome to yet another episode of, well, Seeking Shamblers or Marvelous Monstrosities and Devilish Designs. Whichever have you. This time around, it's Marvelous Monstrosities and Devilish Designs, but of course, we're pretty much doing the same thing, and sometimes there's some weird mixture, so who knows what's going on in my life. Yeah, anyway, let's see here. Where in God's name were we? We were trying to check out something Duke Nukem me today, specifically the jetpack, um, uh, made by Harlequin. Uh, yeah, so basically this is version 1.1, but yeah, basically it just fits as a minor bug whereby, um, jetpacks would work underwater. Um, so basically he thought it was a bad enough error that fits with a new version, otherwise, yeah, there's really no difference whatsoever. Okay, operating system supported anything that can run Quake, amazing. Okay, so how does it work? It's a new power-up, a jetpack, kind of just like Duke Nukem 3D, you know? Um, jetpacks can be placed on maps as items in their own right, or they can replace biosuits in its system maps. Oh, okay, so it's actually um, a custom power-up. And yeah, it's basically going to be something that's replacing, um, uh, basically a biosuit. So, yeah, okay, let's see here. So then, jetpacks let you fly, obviously, and have a neat hover mode so you can rain death on unsuspected ground pounders. Has an intuitive interface. He never played Duke Nukem 3D, so he doesn't know actually what it's like. So he just knows that it has a jetpack. Okay, let's see here. How do we use it? Because I thought it was just going to be a mod, but apparently it's going to be actually an, a custom item. Um, yeah, it's basically made for 1.0 sets, has lots of bug fences, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, let's see here. After picking up, basically, they basically replace where bio suits are. Okay, so you can fly by pressing and holding down jump after you're already in the air. Um, essentially like a double jump. You'll fly at approximately running speed in the direction you're facing. Hover mode, which is always on, means that you cannot sink while thrusting with a jetpack. This allows you to aim downwards or sideways without leaving the air, so you can shoot people below you. If you wish to drop, let go of the jump button. So yeah, jetpacks just basically replace all bio suits, um... You can modify um, the m files to basically have it like a random chance of replacing it. And if you want to make a map with jetpacks on it, you can give it another class name. Yeah, like I said, the one thing I'm not liking about the whole jetpack thing is it wasn't really made for the original game in any way. And so because of that, you basically have an item that allows you to get anywhere in a map and easily exploit and fly over areas. Needless to say, it's very cheaty for the original game, and I wouldn't like to do it, even if it's, like, something that could add more variation. Um, yeah, needless to say, not really the best of ideas for me. Um, it's kind of like the grappling hook, except maybe even more overpowered. So anyway, you may want to assign the probability of replacing bio suits to zero. In case you want jetpacks and bio suits on the same map. While flying, flames will shoot out behind your character. Um, he didn't want to force players to use any special model files, so he couldn't really put a jetpack on the player model. But this is almost as good. So yeah, this doesn't have any custom models or anything like that, so they just use the flames. Fuel is consumed only when actually firing the jetpack. There's enough fuel for about 15 seconds of burn. And you're warned a few seconds before your fuel runs out. Um, in deathmatch, it responds every 60 seconds. It automatically corrects for SV gravity. But there is a slight margin of error. Um, it may vary on system performance. If you die while carrying a jetpack, it and any remaining fuel will be recovered by whoever picks up your backpack. Um, pick up additional jetpacks or backpacks containing fuel adds to your fuel store. Jetpacks won't work in water above your waist. If only your feet are in water, you can jet out. 
so yeah, basically he tells you how to even like do it in like other mod packages, however you want to do it. Very detailed documentation. Um but yeah. He's also written um the anti camper, the demo cam, he has more stuff in the work or whatnot. So yeah, let's actually check out this thing because that's really what we're here for. It's to see what God's name I play in and here we are! Let's actually look for some bio suits. So, a bunch of weird errors. I seem to be still on Giggler. Let's see here. Where's the map with a lot of bio suits? I kind of wanted more than just E1M1's bio suit, but I'm trying to remember a map with a lot of bio suits. Yeah, that's a hard one. Bio suits are kind of that weird item that you kind of forget about. Yeah, I can tell you. Where a lot of quad damages are and stuff like that, but bio suits? Who generally uses them a lot? Try to think of a map with a lot of water because that would be a map with a lot of bio suits. Because generally, if you need to swim long distances, you. Uh, well, let's see here. I'm trying to think. Yo, know what? I have a stupid way to try and figure this out actually quickly. I'm curious. Um, enough to figure out where exactly freaking biosuits are at Quake. Yeah, n no, I have to use my old Wick Eye Source to figure out what exactly maps this stupid thing could go into. Because, yeah, I really don't know uh, which map exactly I should be choosing. Like I said, because E1M1, not the best choice. Um, it only has one of them. I'm trying to think, is there any map that actually has a couple? Um, that, that would be a lot nicer for me, needless to say. So, yeah, tr trying to think, um, yeah, really, there's nothing else in episode one. It looks like, yeah, it looks like E2M7 has some if you go far enough into the level. Though it could be a bit of a pain to get there. Is there anything shorter? I just want something easy. Yeah, there's one Bioso in E2M1. Yeah, nothing really fancy there. Um, Grizzly Grotto has that one bio suit at the beginning. Um, I don't think there's any others. Yeah, see, there's constantly, um, just one bio suit in a level. Crypto Decay, is there many bio suits there? No, there's only that one bio suit at the very end. You know, in the dope fish room. So, needless to say, not very useful for us. So, you see, this is exactly it. Bio suits are very uncommon, believe it or not. And, yeah, there's one bio suit in the Urban Fortress, um, Wizard's Mance. There's one bio suit there. Yeah. Needless to say, it looks like, um, why wouldn't, like, the sewage system have a bunch? Yo, if I was thinking of a level that would have bio suits, I'd take the sewage system. I don't know, that feels like a bio suit -y map. Bio suit, bio suit. Okay, at least there's two bio suits. So, yeah, that, that seems to be the most in the map, actually, interestingly enough, is two. Two bio suits. Weird. I was hoping for a map of more, but yeah, it seems like two is our lucky number. I, I'm really curious how exactly we have so few bio suits in a Quake map, but that's aside the point. Um, let's see here. E. What did I say? E4 and 1? Yeah, let's do E4 and 1. Has two bio suits. Let's go look for them. Say, so would see a bio suit anywhere? Now I can remember where the bio suits are. Hey, would see a freaking bio suit. I sure don't see one here. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the problem. I'm not really remembering. Like, was the bio suit over there? I'm not sure I remember where the bio suits were. And that's a problem because I kind of need to remember that type of stuff for when I'm doing this. E2M7 has one. Yeah, I know where, where that one is. But that's kind of a pain to get to. Especially from a shotgun start. Yeah, uh, well, let's just do this one. I was hoping for simpler, but yeah, I'm just going to do this. Bio suits stink. That's the lesson of the day, people. I don't like bio suits because bio suits are a pain in the butt to get to. I want to avoid having to play E1M1 again, but it seems like we're having to play E1M1. Yeah, 
Yeah, so let's see. Here we go. Like, get there. Yeah, so few freaking bio suits like there's barely any in episode one. You go through the whole of episode one and there's actually... Why didn't I do E1M4? I just realized E1M4 has a good bio suit. I'm sorry, I'm so scatterbrained. I was... The bio suit thing just kind of messed me all up. I could just kill these guys that we actually not be murdered when I'm trying to head out there and look at the bio suit for two seconds. Let's leave them up there so that way they're kind of stuck. They won't be able to pursue me as long as I'm down here. Let's see. There's the bio suit. Looks like a backpack. Okay, pick it up. We got the jetpack. Let's see, we jump. There we are, got the silver key. So you see, it's loud as heck. As you see, it's very much, um... Very noisy. Okay, let's do this again. Should pack my way to victory. You can't swim jetpack in water. Time to get upwards. As you see, you can easily exploit maps. I'm not really doing well because I'm not really killing anything, but you can easily fly and cheat through maps by using this thing. Why did I even grab the silver key? I don't even need that. Squeeze me. So you see, the ogres are gonna be the problem at the end. Let's see here. We, I want to beat even them. Oh look at that! It's on the fire. Oh wow, I just jibbed a fiend by being too close to him. Apparently there's some damage evolved when you like fly close to it with um, a jetpack. Apparently when you're out of the water or whatnot, you can still jetpack somewhat. Thank you! Thank you very little! There we are, that's how you Beat the entire freaking map with just a jetpack. Does it stay over? No. You lose your jetpack on the next map. But yeah, that's how you exploit the entire freaking map using the jetpack. How to hover, I'm not really sure. It seems to mostly just be wanting to um, move me forward. Even when I was staying perfectly still, it was still thrusting me forward. Maybe if I look straight down? Yeah, see, it's based on where you're looking. Well, as you see, if I'm looking forward, it's doing that. I let go, it'll drop. Up we go! Straight we go, up we go, down we go. So you see, that's basically how it works. I'm getting more used to the controls. So we drop down here. Now we fly up here. Just fly right over. And now, yep. That's how you do it. That's how you use the jetpack, people. You basically just look in the direction you want, right click and fly. Very, very simple. Very, very easy to control. Very freaking overpowered. Let's try for a more interesting thing. Let's try and get the secret way open. Excuse me. Yeah, see, this would be interesting. Little fuel. Oh, God, no. 
Bad to have low fuel in tight little areas with ogres. Never a good combination. But yeah, that's basically your low fuel and it basically showing it can't run out. Um, but yeah, a very noisy power-up whereby you just fly around and easily can exploit stuff. Needless to say, not really my style, but it's a thing. It existed, and it's something a bit different. We haven't seen um, a jetpack before in Quake, so at least it's not another pipe bomb mod. So, with that in mind, that in mind, thank you all for watching. It's been pointless, and I shall see you all, well, next time.